Okay, so for this problem, just look at bond dissociation energy. The lowest bond dissociation energy will be 1, highest will be 5. So try this first, and then I'll explain it. Okay, so this is the answer, 3, 4, 2, 1, 5. Okay, so I've listed out the original compounds with A, B, C, D, E, and then now I have um, why each one is why it is. Okay, so here, here are the answers and so whenever you're looking at bond dissociation energy the first thing you want to look at is resonance resonance makes the compound really stable so if you break off one part of it um, it'll still be stable on its own so therefore if it's really stable on its own it doesn't take that much energy to break off a part of it therefore it'll be a low bond dissociation energy okay so since this one has a lot of resonance, um, four resonance structures, it will obviously be the most stable because, I mean, no, nothing else competes. Um, this will be the most, so this will be one. Next, we have, this is also resonance, right? Because the, the carbocation, um, the, the double bond can come down and then uh, the carbocation can move right here. Therefore, this is the only other resonance, so this one will be two. Now for this one, we have a tertiary. This is in resonance, but it's preferred after um, it's preferred after resonance. Therefore, this one will be three, be because this one, right? This one is a hydride shift, and this one is on a primary. So this one will be more stable on its own. So this one will be three. Now for this one, right? This one is actually a a hydride shift. That means that it kind of it kind of has to break its hydrogen bond and then move its um, uh, move the carbocation over here. That means that it takes a little more energy than a resonance structure, right? Resonance is just um, the shifting of electrons, but this is you have to you have to break a um, hydrogen bond. So um, so it'll be more energy than resonance, and it'll be more energy than a tertiary. Therefore, this will be 4. Finally, since this is at, on a primary carbon with no resonance, this will be very last. It will be 5. Now, I've written it here. A resonance is just electron shifting. Um, methyl or hydride shift is a bond broken. So that means that more energy will be used than for resonance. Now, moving over here, I've written down some notes on this, uh, on why this is. So when a hydrogen breaks off, right, when we're talking about bond dissociation energy, um, if the carbocation is stable on its own, then it wouldn't, it wouldn't take that much energy to break, right? And I've written that as, a, uh, as an analogy. If you have a table with four legs, right? Yeah, um, so if I, if I uh, broke this leg off, right, uh, it would take some, uh, quite some energy, right? Because a lot of one-fourth of the weight is on this leg. So it would take a lot more energy. Now, if this table had like 16 legs and I broke one of the legs off, it would take less energy because the weight is distributed evenly. So that means the original structure is more stable. That's what resonance does. It's stable on its own. So therefore, you can break a piece off and it doesn't take that much energy because the original structure is very stable. So resonance and methyl hydride shifts, they all stabilize the carbocation, right? Um, so then the order is tertiary, secondary, and primary. So, um, and the final thing is the most stable has the least energy, right? Because this is really stable, so therefore it has the least amount of energy um, when you break it off. And uh, the big picture is that's why reactions happen, right? Why do reactions happen? Because the universe wants to get to a lower energy state because that's the most stable. Um, that's, why we, that's why we learn these things. Is, uh, and why these things happen, because why resonance happens is because it's more stable that way. Um, it takes less energy, right? So I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.